Adobe Illustrator can be great for creating logos and other vector illustrations. Sometimes you might want to add a subtle gradient to your design, uh, but much like the drop shadow, the bevel, and the emboss, it can be overdone. But if it's done right, I think it can add a little bit of interest to your designs, identity designs, and logos, and other illustrations. Go ahead and go to Adobe Illustrator, go to File New, and create some kind of shape. So I have the Star Tool here. If you click and hold onto the Rectangle Tool, go to the Star Tool. I'm just going to click and drag, hold Shift, maintain a straight uh, level there. By default, it has a white fill, black border there, the black stroke. What you can do is uh, if you click the gradient tool right here and click drag over, notice it doesn't do anything. Well, go ahead and go to Window and then Gradient and then click this gradient here, it'll apply it. And then you can actually click and drag the different angles with that gradient tool if you want to do some kind of custom angle. Or you can set it to a specific angle right here. So you go to, let's say, delete that and go to 90 degrees, then it will be like so. Obviously 45 degrees would be kind of diagonal and then 0 degrees was kind of horizontal. Next step, add some color. You can also change from linear to radial. just depends on what kind of effect you want. But if you go to, uh, let's change that back to 90, uh, d just double click on the white right there and if you click down here there's some swatches that you can select like blue or whatever you can also click on that palette there and do some kind of customized shape. So if you're working in RGB mode, you'll see RGB for red, green, blue, or you, if you're working in CMYK, you can kind of see the cyan, magenta, yellow, black levels. And then the black one, you can double click that. Again, you can choose a preset swatch if you have one, or you can adjust it right over here. Alright, one other thing to consider is you can also change the opacity of one of these. So you can click here with the gradient and bring the opacity all the way to zero, for example. And by default, it's on top, of course, but if we put it behind it with the left arrow, see how you can kind of see through a little bit, but definitely up here. It's because this gradient, it's going from that blue to zero percent opacity. So if I brought that over the midpoint, it actually have more blue and less of the transparent area. So that might be relevant for some of your designs, or you might just want it to go from one color to the next, both at 100% opacity. And just the middle controls just where the middle of that slider is. So if it's at 50%, and obviously it'll be right in the middle with the equal side of color on either side. Or if you want a more green, more blue, you could do that as well. And you can also drag those if you want more of a green area up at the top. And then blue as well. Just for different effects, you can adjust the location of those hues. So that's a simple, quick way to add a gradient fill to shapes in Adobe Illustrator. Thanks.